Good evening. My name is Syed Nabavi and I'm with Fairfax County Department of Transportation. I would like to welcome you to the public information meeting on the Backlick Road Spot Improvement Project. Before we begin, I'd like to review some guidelines so everyone can participate and get the most out of this meeting. Please note that this meeting is being recorded and will be uploaded on YouTube. We will link and share the recording and the presentation from the project webpage on the Fairfax County website and online via social media such as Facebook. So with that, I'll start the project uh, presentation. So today here we, uh, with us, we have uh, from Fairfax County Department of Transportation, we have myself, I'm the project manager. We have Latisa Turner, um, she's the host of WebEx. I have James Beal, who is my supervisor, section chief of transportation design division. And um, we have Chris Wells from our pet and bike uh, group. And we also have our consultant, WSP, uh, Martha Alonco, the lead engineer, and Tim Ramey, the senior project manager. As part of this meeting, we'll cover the project status, we'll cover the design features, and then we'll cover the project cost and schedule, and we'll end the project, uh, we'll end the presentation with questions and answers. So this project actually started back in March of 2019. Uh, this was uh, a project on our list and it was basically, uh, we had complaints that uh, the turn, uh, the left turn lane into the office building at uh, Backlick Road and Industrial Road would cause congestion onto the through traffic. And that was the reason for the project. Also, we had another project, which was a missing link of the sidewalk on Backlick Road, all, um, on the east of the Backlick Road, from Burger King all the way to Industrial um, Road. And so we combined both of them into one project, and we, had, we have it now as one project. So as I mentioned, we started back in March of 2019. Um, we started with surveying of the project, which took a few months, about six months. Um, and then after that, we started our preliminary plans. We submitted the preliminary plans to VDOT and all the other agencies uh, on December, 2019. Once we had all the comments back, we started our intermediate plans and we went through with the design. We made some adjustments based on the comments received and we submitted the intermediate plans in August of 2020. At this point, we have received all the comments for the intermediate submission. At this point, we are working on geotechnical investigation and the pre-final plans, and are hoping to submit pre-final plans in about six or seven months. So now I'll go to some of the improvements that we propose with this uh, project. As mentioned, uh, this is a project on Backlick Road. It includes parts of Industrial Road as well. The limits of the project the starts from um, Burger King, uh, which is right next to Hetchinger Drive, and it goes all the way to Industrial Road. What we are proposing um, with this project is mainly a sidewalk improvement, and we are also adding a left-hand lane, a northbound left-hand lane onto the office complex uh, across Industrial Road. So with the Backlick Road, um, what we have um, on this um, on the screen is uh, the six-foot sidewalk, and we are starting from 
pretty much from the Burger King, that's where the missing link starts. And we will go all the way to the bridge. There is already a sidewalk on the bridge, so there is no need to provide that on the bridge. However, we will provide a pedestrian fence along the bridge sidewalk. So the sidewalk uh, goes from Burger King all the way to the bridge. It's a six foot sidewalk. Due to the grading difference between where we are putting the sidewalk and existing grades along it, alongside of it, we have to provide retaining walls. We also have, uh, with the project, we'll improve the drainage. So on this segment, we have the, um, what we are providing is a drainage uh, piping and structure that outfalls um, at this area where it's shown, basically. We, we reroute it. We also have uh, some detention capability, and then we'll outfall it at this point, at this point. The next segment on Baxter Road again starts after the bridge, and um, but again we continue the sidewalk all the way to Industrial Road. It's still a six-foot sidewalk with the concrete parapet and a retaining wall. Um, as mentioned, we also uh, providing drainage improvements. Again, one of the areas that we outfall is what's shown in blue here and it outfalls at this point. It goes into the channel stream and uh, eventually it goes to the stream. With the project, we are also proposing to rebuild the signal at Wimsat Road. And, um, and then the next improvement on Backlick Road is to provide a northbound left turn lane, as you can see here, into the um, office complex. So what we are providing is a 100 foot um, storage for the left turn lane with a 100 foot taper. The typical sections as you saw on the previous, on this slide, the AA and BB are shown here. With AA, we are basically showing the sidewalk, the six, the six foot sidewalk here plus the retaining wall and the parapet wall. And with the section BB, uh, we are showing how we are going to add that left turn lane, the northbound left turn lane. We are actually going to uh, shift the traffic towards um, west and by adding the lane. And then um, obviously the six foot sidewalk stays the same the retaining wall and the parapet wall so it stays the same. On industrial road, we also have two missing lanes of sidewalks as shown here. It's pretty much from Backlick Road all the way to the entrance of Arlington Auto Body. And on the other side, it's a missing link of sidewalk along Shirley Industrial Park. The sidewalk on industrial road is going to be five foot with four foot buffer and it's it's a regular concrete sidewalk. So with that, our project schedule is is that once we complete our pre-final, we'll submit and we'll get comments back. Um, we are going to start our utility coordination. We do anticipate some utility conflicts and we anticipate that there is a need for some utility relocations. Um, however, the coordination has not started. It will start as soon as we have uh, test holes. And with that, what we anticipate is to start the right of way acquisition on February, in February of 2022. And hopefully that process usually takes somewhere about eight to nine months. And then once that's complete, then we'll start the utility relocations, which we're anticipating to finish by July of 2023. The final design should be complete uh, by March of 2023. Once we have that and we have the utility relocated, uh, we'll apply for permit 
and we'll go through, uh, we'll advertise the project for construction. The award time for the project, the construction award is set right now at on September of 2023. And we anticipate about 15 months of construction time, um, which takes us to December of 2024. Now these may shift uh, or adjust as uh, we progress to the uh, final design. At this point, our project cost uh, for PE, which is the, the design part, the permitting and all of that, which we're looking at close to a million uh, dollars on that. And on right of way, we anticipate a cost um, right of way includes utility relocation, which we anticipate a cost of close to 900,000. It, it's actually 880,000. And for construction at this point, we have estimated the construction to be close to uh, 5 million, which the exact number at this time is 4.9 million. So with that, uh, it completes our presentation for tonight. Um, you can send our, your comments and questions to us uh, via the red feedback form link at the bottom of our project website. Uh, the comments are due by Thursday, December 31st. The project website is www.fairfaxcounty.gov slash transportation slash projects slash backlink hyphen road hyphen spot hyphen improvements. So you can also submit your comments or feedback or questions in writing to us. You can mail it to uh, FCDOT, um, Attention Backlick Road Spot Improvement Project Feedback. Our address is 4050 Legato Road, Suite 400, Fairfax, Virginia 22033. Or you could call myself by phone it's 703-877-5759, TTY-711. Thank you for um, listening to our presentation.